Here we go a cheap Summit Racing Bullet Mirror that I will try to make a new pedestal for or adapt another one. This is the pedestal right here. Get this apart. Retaining that. Here's the cup we need to adapt. I'm a hoarder and I will probably keep this for a future project. This will be the victim here. Want to try and match the angle. Um, I'll cut higher up. Better to have to cut than worry about trying to add chrome plated plastic. First we need to wrap it in tape to protect it. So I made a mistake and never actually captured the final step where we put it together. But this is the finished product right here. The rest of this should be pretty boring I'm hoping. So we have the bolts going through the cup, bolt and a screw coming through the other side. This one will act more as a locator. Get the locator in there first. I did cheat a little bit and try and get this bolt started before just to see if it would cut any threads. And as you will see, it is starting to work. A little hard to keep it in frame. I probably should get a better GoPro mount. Now the locating pin won't locate that well until I get the epoxy put in, which goes in from the underside. So keep that in mind. I can hear you at home. I'll fill it with epoxy in here and in here. Not all the way, but just enough to get to the bolts and the screws. Um, you might also say, wow, that looks really crooked. The cup looks tilted this way. That is intentional. I put a bit of a bevel. I trial fit this against the door of the car and actually needed a little bit of angle to make the mirror more useful. Okay, I've changed location because this glue really smells terrible. So I want it to be outdoors. Ignore the dogs in the background or don't enjoy it. So let's get a nice helping of epoxy. 
this will all go very quickly. It'll really be just a case of pouring it in to these hollow cavities. Maybe a little bit hard to do in frame. We don't need a lot. Just need enough to get around the bolts. Um, gravity will do the trick. I will just leave it ha hanging. And um, next time you see this, it'll be on the car, fully assembled.